All right, next in the multiplication bundle, we're going to talk about number talks and speed dating. And number talks are just an easy way to get kids talking about uh, different ways to solve problems. Uh, for example, if you post the problem 12 plus 13 on the board, the kids should you know, think about it for 10 seconds and uh, find mental strategies to find that sum. And when they have a strategy, they could hold a thumb up or make some kind of signal to say, hey, I'm ready, I have a strategy. You then discuss the different strategies within your class. And uh, it's nice because it starts to build, that, build capacity with kids that maybe th only think about using the traditional algorithm, they could start to see things like doubles plus one or doubles minus one, and then they can use that strategy in other places. So this first resource here is just a PDF with a bunch of different strategies that you can use. Uh, this PDF is quite large, 57 pages, uh, but a, a ton of problems in here and ways you can use them in the classroom. All right. With number talks, though, you're really only relying on kids that are going to volunteer to kind of fuel the conversation. All right. So speed dating, we can call it something else if you would like, is a way uh, to get everyone in involved in the conversation. I guess you could hold every kid accountable with the speed dating process. So what you would do is post something uh, like this presentation on the board, and you would tell kids to find one problem that they can solve and be prepared to explain it to a partner. They stand up. Uh, they find a partner, they explain how they solve their problem, and their partner explains to them how they solve their problem. And then you repeat this process two or three more times with other people. Right? What happens is kids get better at explaining their problem. They learn how other people solve other problems, uh, and they get to communicate mathematics. It holds them accountable, like I said. Um, so even in here, they have the distributive property. But if you scroll up, you will find something like repeated addition, which can lead into multiplication. All right. The last thing on here is just a, uh, a daily a daily number of talks generator. Use it if you'd like, but uh, you can put in your zip code here, and it'll give you the weather for the week or for the day. Um, and you could do like doubling and having. And every time you refresh this page, it'll give you a different problem. All right.